Well, today is Sunday, March 29th, and I'm currently four days post-op from having the gastric sleeve surgery. I went into surgery on Wednesday, March 25th at 7.30 a.m. Um, before I begin, I just want to tell everyone thank you who has called or texted or come visit me so far, sending me your words of encouragement. Um, I have a great support system, and I didn't realize how awesome they were until all this happened. So thank you, and um, I appreciate all of your all of your encouraging words and your support. So I want to start off by talking a little bit about the surgery. Um, you guys should have seen my post-op or my pre-surgery video that I posted. Um, and from what I've been told by my mom and uh, and Jason, the surgery went well. Dr. Shamsidine came out and said everything was planned and there were no complications and that I would be in recovery and then out into my room in two hours. So that was the plan. I was in recovery and I don't remember anything. <laughs> I had a really hard time coming out of the anesthesia. Um, I was very groggy, very just out of it. I don't, I don't remember Wednesday at all. I remember going to sleep on the operating table and waking up um, intermittently throughout the day and seeing people <laughs> in my room and nurses checking vitals and such. Um, in fact, my boss and a, and a wonderful coworker came to visit me and I'm pretty sure we had some conversations, but I don't remember a lot of it. Um, it wasn't until about midnight that I actually kind of got my senses, got my bearings, and was able to, you know, remember things. So it took me a while, and that was definitely a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Um, the other thing that I wasn't expecting was that it was going to hurt so bad after surgery. Um, the plan was I was going to go into surgery and I was going to wake up and then in two hours once I got to my room they were going to get me settled in and then we were going to start walking the halls and we were going to start, um, you know, starting to eat food and that did not happen for me. I wasn't actually up and out of the bed until the following day um, and I didn't actually eat any kind of food. I think I ate, I think maybe a half an ounce at the hospital of applesauce while I was there the whole time. And none of that happened as, as quickly as I thought. You know, I'm young, I'm 31, I can bounce right back. Well, it, it didn't happen with this surgery. So the pain that I was feeling um, was definitely um, from them filling my stomach with the gas and the air and um, the incision areas, they ended up doing um, five incisions, including my belly button. So I was definitely in a lot of pain, and I'm still in some pain, obviously. Um, you know, it hurts, and you get awful stomach cramps, and you just feel like, oh my gosh, this I'm not going to be able to keep anything down. I'm not going to be able to put anything in my mouth and, and hold any liquids or hold any food, but... I just keep telling myself that this pain is temporary and um, the long-term benefits are going to outweigh this temporary pain that I'm feeling. So it's, um, it's definitely, I definitely didn't bounce back as quickly as I had thought. And I've seen other videos posted where people were up and walking and eating within the same day and that just didn't happen for me. But I'm much better off today than I was on Wednesday and Thursday, so I'm definitely making um, some progress along the way. So I came home on Thursday and I had my wonderful nurse to take care of me, which was my mother, and she left today to go back to Kentucky and um, definitely gonna miss her. She was a huge help to kind of get me through things. Um, she waited on me hand and foot, but then she also motivated me and said, all right, Amy, I think we need to get up and walk now. Or I think that, you know, we need to try to, you know, walk to the end of the driveway. Or why don't we, you know, why don't you get a shower and clean up? And I just wanted to do nothing but sit on the couch because I was in so much pain. But she knows how to motivate me and she knows how to push me in the right ways. So um, 
she was definitely a, a huge help these past few days to get me up off the couch and out of the bed and moving and starting to get some of this gas worked off my stomach. So another thing that was kind of surprising for me is that I actually gained weight. I went into the hospital at um, 325 and a half and today, four days post-op, I'm at 327. When I came home from the hospital, I weighed myself Thursday night. Not that I was expecting to, you know, magically lose 50 pounds. Um, I had actually gained five pounds <laughs> from going in. Um, so a lot of that had to do with them pumping me full of um, different anti back um, different, um, oh, what is it? Had a lot to do with them, you know, pumping me full of different antibiotics and um, IVs and pain meds and all that. So um, I'm not sad that I gained weight. I just, I wasn't expecting it. So that was definitely a shock for me. So the past few days, I have spent my time trying to get on a schedule, a schedule to take all the pills that I need to take, all the vitamins I need to take, um, give myself shots. Um, that was something that I had to learn because I have never done that before. And I have to give myself um, two shots a day, one in the morning and one at night of Lovenox. And it's a blood thinner and it goes into my stomach. And I've, I'm learning. I've got some nice bruises where I kind of didn't quite get it right a few times, but it's definitely getting there. Um, but the pill schedule, you, you can't take all your pills at once. You can't take certain pills back to back with other pills. So you have to kind of get on that schedule and figure out, okay, so if I'm going to eat at this time, I can't take my calcium within two hours of eating and I can't take my iron at the same time as this vitamin. So it's just been like trial and error trying to fig trying to fit in all of my um, different vitamins the past few days. So today was my first day at trying a new schedule at getting all that figured out. We went and bought this huge pill box that has four different times during the day. So it will kind of help me keep all of that straight. So that's what I've been focusing on is trying to get on a, a, on a schedule for that and um, get on a schedule for taking my shots. I also have to schedule my meals and my protein drinks and getting all of those liquids that I need. My meals have been pretty interesting. I never thought that I would be having refried beans as a lunch, but that's what I can eat. Um, so far, um, they ask you to reintroduce foods into your diet one at a time. So on Thursday, we introduced applesauce and things went well. So I had applesauce again these past four days. Um, I introduced myself to cottage cheese, which I love dairy and I love cottage cheese. And I heard these horrible things that people become lactose intolerant, which was, which was scary for me because I love my dairy products. And I had about an ounce of cottage cheese. I couldn't keep it all down, but, um, the ounce I held, I held it and it was good, so I tried it again, and I barely got two spoonfuls in my mouth, and I was done. So I introduced cottage cheese, and it, it doesn't work for me, unfortunately, which makes me sad, but I just gotta you know keep moving on and figure out other foods to introduce into my diet. So I've been eating chicken broth. I've been eating vegetable broth. Um, as I mentioned, the refried beans. Um, some Greek non-fat Greek yogurt. I've introduced um, applesauce, the unsweetened kind, which was which was good, and I have found a new love for sugar-free popsicles. That is one way that I can get some liquids into me, and the sugar-free popsicles were delicious. So that has definitely helped with the fluids. I'm supposed to try to get uh, three protein shakes a day. That has not happened yet. I have been lucky to get one protein shake in me. Um, they say that your taste buds change after surgery, and I can attest to that. I spent a really long time trying to find protein drinks and shakes and flavors that I could handle and that I would like after surgery. And I've stocked up, and I've got these big, huge barrels of, of protein flavors, and I have found that two of the proteins that I bought prior to surgery, 
I don't like anymore. And they don't taste good and they taste funny and they taste powdery and they're just not for me. So my taste buds have changed some, but there's still a few kind of go-tos that I've been using with, um, with the protein drinks. I've only been averaging one shake a day. I'm very full. I, I was, I didn't expect to be full after eating two ounces. Hey, I had two ounces of applesauce. Now I'm going to go have a protein shake. No problem. It's a problem. It's not as easy as I expected. Um, so I guess the best way to kind of summarize the past four days is that things didn't go as I expected. And that's okay. Things, I'm a planner. I like to plan things out. I want things to do X, Y, Z, and everything has to go this way. And things have not worked as I expected them to. And I am completely okay with that. I'm just kind of rolling with the punches and doing what I need to do to nourish my body. And emotionally, I'm in a really good state. I only cried this morning when my mom left <laughs> just because I'm going to miss her. Um, but I don't regret having the surgery on day four. I don't regret making this life-changing decision. Um, it's it's been a rocky road four days, and I'm looking forward to kind of see what the future brings. I have a follow-up appointment with my doctor in um, a week and a half, so I'll be seeing them then. Um, so I guess the best way, again, to summarize these past four days is they haven't gone as I've expected, but I'm on a good road, and I'm on the right road. So I'm excited to kind of see where everything goes. Um, my next post is going to be about my trip to the supermarket. Mom and I ventured out on Saturday to the grocery store just to get in a few things that were previously not on my list of stuff I wanted to eat, but after I found out that I, I couldn't eat cottage cheese and some of the other things, we wanted to get